It's a good morning. It's a good morning. November the 7th, 2016. This is CISG 114, Section 1, Web Technology and 9. Today is week number 12 and day number 23rd, okay, into the semester. Today is the day for learning contract number three. Students to present the work in this contract. Each team, we have seven teams, will be given 10 minutes time to present the work. But first of all, each team needs to set up a representative to tell if they are willing to do this in class presentations. If they're willing to do it, they must got ready the PowerPoint in the team online discussion forum in week number 10. So let's get started. All right, it's 11.35. I'm going to do the roll calling per team. So this call is calling the representative of each team that come up here to confirm if you're willing to do the in-class sharings today for your learning contract number three. So what you need to do is to send up one representative of your team to come up here to give an indication. So team number one, are you here? Team number one. So are you going to do the in-class sharing? If it is the case, set up one representative to tell the whole class that this is your intention here. Any representative who would like to come up here? Okay. Oh, you don't need to worry. This is just an indication time. You can do it in less than five seconds. What you need to do is to tell the whole class if your team is willing to do the in-class presentation or sharing today. All right? This is an indication. You need to indicate the whole class. All right, so this is simple. Are you sure you're going to do it? Do you want to give another chance to others? Uh, sure, sure, you can come up here. Yes, because here's a time for you to indicate the whole class if you will do the in-class presentations today. No, it's just two minutes. Two minutes, you just have to indicate. The second round is 10 minutes. Until you say you want to do it, all right? Unless you say you want to do it on behalf of the team. I'm Selena from Team 1. We have discussed that we will do the presentation today. For learning contract number 3. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And this is Selena. Thank you. This is what you need to do. What we call expressions of the commitment to do something. Okay, team number 2. Team number 2. Is it team number 2? Team number 2. Are you willing to do the in class presentations today? Okay, you need to come up here to tell the whole class. And what I do because the one who come up here to tell the whole class will have one more time come towards the in class sharing. Okay? And you have to keep track of that. Yes. Uh, our group is running down the team proposal and we decide to share our topic in this class. Thank you. We're learning contract number three. Okay, may I just remind you if you have made a decision to share in class today. You must get your PowerPoint ready in your team online discussion forum so that when you are here as a whole team, you can click on this to open up your PowerPoint. Okay, team number three. Okay, are you willing to do it? If you are willing to do it, you have to indicate the whole class. All right. Then today we talk about the we to show them for. So you are going to do it, right? Thank you. All right, this is team number three. So team number three also would like to do it. Team number four. Team number four. Neil, is it your team number four? No. Okay, team, are you the team number four? Okay, the question is, if your team has decided to do an in-class presentations of your work in learning contract number three today, then it's now time for you or any one of your members to come up here to indicate to the whole class that you want that 10 minutes long. Do you want to do it today? No, you have to indicate because right now it's a two minute slot, remember? Now it's a two minute slot. Each team must set up a representative to indicate to the whole class if you want to do the 10 minutes 
at any cost sharing of your learning contract on the free. So, have you made a decision yet? Okay, yeah, you are team number four, right? So let's pass you. Team number five? Any team number five today? Team number five? Are you team number five? Okay, team number five. Have you made a decision yet? To do an e-class sharing for the learning project number three today? Oh, that's a difficult thing. As I told you, that if you decide to do it, you must get your PowerPoint ready today and put it here. All right? This is a requirement. Okay, team number. This is team number five. Team number six. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. My project is to half, and my PPT also do the half. So. The question is, are you willing or are you, have you designed to do it today? And no, then you will lose one chance for the whole team. Are you sure? Because if you don't do it, if you indicate you don't want to do it, you will not be given 10 minutes. And you will lose one in class sharing. Are you sure the whole team do not want to do it? Because if you do decide to do it, you must get ready your PowerPoint in a team on either session call. Okay, so that is only the last chance for all of you to earn the in class share. Okay, all right, so it's all right, it's up to you. I'm going to call it again because this is the two minutes indications if your team will not do it. So, this is team number six, team number seven. Okay, are you willing to do it? Even the one person is still can make it. Have you got your PowerPoint ready? No, okay, so I just want to give you the microphone for the chance. Okay. Because the question is, you know, that people can ask Since our PPT haven't done yet, so we are not able to do that today. Okay, you won't do it today. Okay. Now, uh, we are glad that we still have three teams who would like to do the 10 minutes presentations today. Now, the question is, you have to understand, because this is the last chance for you to earn the five, uh, uh, the, uh, the in-class sharing opportunity within learning contract number three. Now, if you miss today's chance, you have one fewer chance to do it, okay? Starting this week, we have another important milestone called learning portfolio, okay? And remember, in your learning portfolio, when you want to acquire the previous semester porn, you must have five in-class sharing done throughout the semester, okay? And in order to do today's 10 minutes team based presentations, you must got your PowerPoint ready and put it here in your team online discussion forum um, before you can do it. And actually, today is the day when you have to submit all the items for learning contract number three. So, of course, tomorrow is the last day, but you will lose a chance of doing that in class if you don't do it today. And this is my final reminder. All right. Let me pass the 10 minutes to the first group. Um, this is the first group, right, Selena? Is your PowerPoint ready? Have you uploaded? Okay. I'll give you the 10 minutes. Your time will start from 11.45 to 11.55, okay? So you're ready. The whole team can come up here and open up this team-based online discussion forum. And your team, your team, uh, name, it's, let's see, uh, team one, right? The team one. So team one is here. So let's go to team one. Okay, no, not right here. So I'm going to team one for you. All right, this is team one. So let's get into this. And right there. Where is your PowerPoint? Okay, I still cannot see your PowerPoint yet. Oh no, uh, right here when you do the presentations, what you need to do is 
you need to connect your PowerPoint here so that you can open up your PowerPoint here for the whole class to see. Not in the submission link. Submission link is for the homework submission. For the presentation, you have to make sure now you post your PowerPoint here. Okay? You have your PowerPoint posted somewhere here. Any of your member need to post your PowerPoint here, alright? Okay. Just go to your team site, any one of you, and post your PowerPoint here. You can actually use this computer. You don't need to use your own computer because your PowerPoint is posted here, right? So. Yeah, you can see that this is team one. So are you ready? Thank you. This is what you need to do. Yes, in order to get ready. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay, are you ready? Hi everyone, uh, my name is Karen and I'm the MC of this presentation. So let's in the part. Uh, and our team topic is what are the impacts on tagging in Web 2.0? And let's invite Selena to talk about, about her topic. My topic is about what is Web 2.0. It is a worldwide web website that emphasizes user-generated content usability and digital mobility, which means that a website can work well with other product sy systems for end users. And there are several, several web platforms which are under the use of Web 2.0. There are blogs, wikis, tagging and social bookmarking, multimedia sharing, auto-blocking and podcasting, and RS, RSS and syndication. And what are the features of 2.0? There are uh, just which means which means web-based applications can be made to work much more like with desktop one. And second, democracy. Uh, we can publish whatever we want and there are freedom. Third, and don't, don't let treat users. That means, that means uh, with loaded with obtrusive branding, then make them slow to load and send the user the message. The messages of Web 2.0 is that we can we can use different functions like tagging and linking to our pages. And we can also use forms so so as convenient for us to use. Uh, I will explain that 
What is the difference among web 2.0, web 1.0, and web 3.0, and what are they in common? Web 1.0 is is the internet user only can read the information which was shown to them. So we consider as the read only web. Web 2.0 could be considered as the read, write, publish web, which have really than web 1.0. Even a professional user can actively interact and contribute to the web. And with web 3.0 would be a read, write, execute web. It is And it is a new technology for the future because um, when we are searching on the internet, um, the internet can help us find the content which is important and written to the user. And um, what are they in common? In common, both free type of web are facilitating connection between internet user and site. Web um, web 1.0 is help user to search the information on the internet. Web 2.0 is connect the people who use the internet. Web 3.0 has makes the function of web 2.0 and web 2.0. Um, we think the most important function of web is the connection with the internet. Um, for web 1.0, web 2.0, and web 3.0, it refers to a step of internet evolution from a closed internet age to public internet, from individual publishing to group participation. Let's invite uh, Eris to present her talk. Yeah. My second question is what is tagging in Web 2.0 and how does tagging work in Web 2.0? First, I have divided two parts. The first part is what is tagging in Web 2.0. I think it is, it, is a it is a function that is contained in Web 2.0, which is applied to different web tools. Second, um, Tagging in Web 2.0 is a non-layered keyword or term assigned to a piece of information such as an internet bookmarking, digital image, or computer file. And how does tagging work in Web 2.0? I think tagging helps to get the process of collection and sharing update between the websites done more rapidly and easily. And now I'll introduce what is phosonomies. It is a kind of combination of words taxonomy and folk. And phosonomy is a category based on text. It is formed on sites such as technority and delicious. And phosonomy also identify content in different and more meaningful ways than traditional keywords used by search engines. So what, then what is the revolution of tagging in Web 2.0? I think uh, for the scientists, Web 2.0 is a platform for software discussion. And for businessmen, it is a platform for seeking potential transaction through communication. And for example, Flickr, which is a website for photo collection, by using tagging, the content of the pictures are all well organized by tagging. A great amount of people were appealed to the function because it helps the user to search for photos by meaningful tags. Then, to my sub question, 
There are also downsides of tagging in Web 2.0. For example, um, when we combine the tagging, sometimes the tagging could lead to the wrong information, which is useless to our original tags. For example, the results of the word bore might be the same with boring or bored. And the principle of tagging may become loose and wrong when you when the words of tagging are similar. Therefore, tagging is good for collect, collecting relevant information, but somehow it is also restrained with the same I'm going to uh, summarize our presentation. Um, first, through the information we found and the, and the work we combine, our group are likely to gain insight into deep understanding of Web 2.0 and tagging as a function in Web 2.0. To analyze our team topic, it is important to realize what is Web 2.0. Therefore, therefore, we have found that uh, Web 2.0 is generally a platform for all online users to have interaction among each other. It is much more convenient and and uh, it is much more convenient com uh, compared to the traditional uh, Web 2 Web 1.0. Which would, uh, which could only search in, search for information by using web engine and also a limitation of using desktop. Uh, with Web 2.0, the online information are accessible to all users via different web tools such as blog, wiki, uh, video sharing sites, uh, photo sharing sites, and social bookmarking site and social media site. We are download different we can download different application to access to uh, in, to information. Moreover, among other tagging is currently an important function in uh, web 2.0 which could help us gather relevant information with the text. This means that people can, can collect the uh, the, the, same, the same source of information more easily and as well as get the information we want more uh, efficiently. In short, we think uh, Tekin <coughs> has made, the, made other web to, tools in Web 2.0 much more easier and handy. For example, in some social network networking sites such as Instagram and um, and photo sharing sites, they are over making uh, uh, the use of tagging in their sites. For example, there are a type of tag called hashtag on uh, on Instagram which has been broadly applied to people's life. Tagging helps to collect the same type of information with the attack in this in this website. And it's undeniable that tagging has accelerated the general generalization of web 2.0. Tagging has uh, become extremely significant in our daily life. But without doubt, uh, there are still a, a lot of further Consider such as the ownership of and and privacy, like what uh, people should pay extra attention on using the web tour of uh, of web two one zero. We should make a good use of the function of two web two one zero. Thank you. Thank you. Thank um, you. Actually, you you guys have done a very good job. Uh, you see the richness of the topic. Uh, the thinking behind the presentations it's very very good uh, thank you very much for team number one so now let's move on to the second team who has expressed their willingness to do this uh, let's see it's your team or which team should go first maybe I take your team are you ready 
No, yeah, okay, your team could go first. Thank you. Um, make sure you can go back to... Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today, uh, after uh, we have some uh, in-class sharing uh, in the previous classes about our previous topics, what is to, uh, Web 2.0 and the uh, way of podcasting. And finally, we come up with this, uh, what is social networking. So uh, uh, let's introduce this topic. And what is this? It is a, a social network. It's a social structure that made up of a set of social uh, actors, or we can call it people, such as individuals, persons, or, or organizations, uh, such as a firm. Sets of dynamic ties and other, other social interaction between the people to communicate. Okay, so I'll pass my mic to to my partner. Thank you. Um, uh, the social network perspective provides a set of methods for analyzing the structure of uh, whole social entities as well as a variety of theories explaining the patterns observed in these structures. And uh, the study of these structures uses social network analysis to identify local and global patterns, locate influential entities, and examine social networks dynamics. Now let me uh, declaration the uh, problem of uh, uh, social network. And in fact, the uh, problem and what impact we are social that what can bring to our social lives. Uh, social networking has a long distance communication gradually, but there must be a stopping point. It can now become our main, main form of communication and interaction. And there are positive to this new technology, but now we're but now to this positive are very negative and in second interaction. What is the law of social networking in our social life? If we continue our over if we continue over using the edge of risk size, then if we are keep acting our communication, self expression, period, exploration, friendship and humanity in negative ways. Um, there is nothing that can stop a meter for personal. There is nothing that can stop a meter for personal interaction. Um, social networking is a problem, and we must eliminate it. It overuse for the sake of our future. About the application of social networking, the sixteen social media applications, everyone should have. Um, from fun berries like this, Instagram and Facebook to network commerce like like live life, uh, like living streaming, face cover, cover. There's never been a better time to find a social network. There's a parallel to your testing. And we can see the 16 social media apps. 
just to give you. You want to open it? You're trying to do control uh, we, press? We just want to show what uh, some several apps that is very popular. Uh, okay. Uh, Okay, uh, do you have any questions? No, at this point you have managed your time very well. Uh, you did it within 10 minutes. Uh, have you finished? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. You. Uh, from the way you present your work, I know that your group is very systematic in following the OIA, and that is very desirable. So thank you very much for giving us many new perspectives on those apps. We know that when we open it, we're going to see something very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for cherishing this opportunity to do the presentation. The last class, the learning content number three. So, is your team ready? Have you uploaded your PowerPoint in the team discussion forum? speak stand here and the other person stand up aside okay all right so thank you very much team number two our topic is the development of social parenting and concern first let me introduce why we choose this topic as a new exist concept in one two point of has its potential in funding in function of the semantic life. And uh, we think it's not just a, a kind of tool, that also is a new big mode that uh, you can in some people. Oh, and uh, 
Our first question is, what is the relationship among tagging and photosynthesis and photo sharing? Uh, our last contract, last contract, our topic is uh, photo sharing and blog. So uh, we just talk about the relationship between them. Uh, as we all know, every blog and photo sharing uh, and photo which being shared has its text. When we use the photo sharing, we always put some text to explain the meaning of the picture. And there is also some text in blog. Uh, with the blog, many uh, blog system uh, allows us answer to every form text to a post, uh, uh, along with placing the post into uh, categories, each of the text from the blog usually uh, a web link uh, leading to an index page listing all of the posts associated with that, that blog. Uh, what is the importance of tagging in the blog? And our group discussed that tags are important because they allow the user to generate content and classify them content in their own ways. And tagging gives us a short description of our website. And in our opinion, depending on what kind of platform of blog we are using, there are a number of ways that blog can be benefited from specific tags. And making the chance of the blog being found through the search engine greater. And however, the main reason of using blog tagging is to categorize the content. For example, Google likes everything to be tidy across the web. If we have tag for, for each different kind of message, is it more easy and convenient to find the information? And at the same time, tagging is important to quickly to find the right check at the right time, and it's very important if we tagging in the correct way. And tagging is important for our daily life uh, because when I'm listening music, and tag is play an important role in my playlist. Like for example, when I play an old and new music, I will put the tagging into my old track in one playlist, rather than getting mixed up with all my new stuff. Also, you can write in the comment section something like uh, my favorite songs. It's very useful and beneficial. And uh, our second, third question is what's, defini what's the differences and the definition between tagging and uh, uh, foxonomy? Uh, 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 tags are now hair code times or keynotes. Assigned to a piece of information by individuals to in, uh, enable them to find information again. Texts are may create by an individual or them be assigned by an individual from a list of provenances of keywords. Foxonomy a user driven approach to organize information. Pairing tags. Foxonomy are also referred to as social tagging, collaborative tagging, social class, uh, classification, and social indexing. Uh, tags, tax clause, and the foxonomy are terms uh, that are often used in tangible with un only in more version. versions. These tools improve the connective and uh, network networking of web uh, web web two point zero applications that will be discussed in later chapters. They are uh, they are in train way to uh, to the web uh, web two point zero. Uh, that's all, and uh, and uh, our conclusion will be um, done by Fiona. Okay. Let me make a brief conclusion. Uh, 
Will scanning the website of blog or photo sharing we found that uh, almost every blog and uh, photo has its tags. If we search one of the tags belonging to this blog or this photo, there will be many existence of the same thing. And uh, the more applications of tagging are waiting to be explored. During this period of time, we think we should standardize the, the tagging method. And uh, in daily life, tagging is not merely a tool to for all the things. It has been a mode of thinking. So that's exactly why tagging attracted us. You have two minutes left to finish your okay. ten uh, minutes hello, left. Fiona, I have read your article and I will answer your question about uh, what the differences between typing and examining. Thank you, Biara. Your time is almost up. Have, um, uh, and we have discussed uh, uh, other questions, and uh, uh, because of time, we don't have enough time to share it. So we, we will share it after the class. Thank you very much. Thank you for the diligence demonstrated by this team. They could 
that pursues the discussion of details taught by taught in question by question. And thank you very much for this experience sharing in doing this topic. Um, equally favorable. Okay? So your team, right? Team number six. Okay. We give team number six a chance. Let me just go to your team side. And then your PowerPoint is right here. to the screen. All right, so team number six. Uh, hello, everyone. And uh, let me do the uh, learning share presentation discuss. And, um, we will introduce uh, what we learn and what we do in the learning course three. And, um, and the topic chose. And, because our team have three members, so we uh, chose three topic, and one of them is voice block, and the other one is voice for share, and that is voice wiki, and and then the final topic we combine is how can photo share in block uh, and wiki product our daily lives and some and then to explain these questions. We should have some knowledge, the basic knowledge about this free basic topic. So um, we will let my partner to explain his own topic, about uh, some knowledge about this topic. And the first one is, what is photo sharing? Hello everyone, my topic is what is photo sharing. I mean, you just do what is the, what is the photo sharing. Photo sharing is, uh, is the public and just for of user digital photo online. Photo sharing website offers surprise such as uploading, hosting, management, and sharing of photo public or public. And the team can also be loosely applied to the user of online photo galleries that are set up and managed by individual users, including photo profit sharing means, means that other users can be but not necessarily under the photo user be, be being able to select different copyright of option for their photos. The type of the photo sharing. Let me just see the type of the photo sharing. The first one is peer to peer with the introduction of eyes by poor band connection directly to home. It, it is uh, Facebook to share pictures and movie without going through. Uh, Centers the bike. The second is uh, the second is peer to server uh, operating peer peer to peer solution without without uh, uh, survives can create problem as one as some user do not need their computers online and connect all the time. And the last is peer to poster. The version on the peer to peer model is peer to browser web and image are shared on one PC with the user of local uh, on the host computer. So, so they are survive much less peer to peer to make a to to review for a stand view website. Okay, uh, the next topic is what's uh, is, uh, is wrong is wrong. And, and, and this topic is my topic. And, 
and we will introduce it. A blog is a discussion on the information website published on the worldwide grounds consisting of the directories offer uh, informal uh, daily style tags in China. And the post are the title is created in the reserve, re reverse research chronological order so that the most recent po the recent posts appear first at the top of the web page. And, and it is uh, uh, that, that one of the definitions, definition of the block. And then, and then there are lots of type of block. And, and just like the uh, personal block, uh, collaborate, collaborative block, and or group block, micro blocking, and cooperate, cooperate and organization, and so on. There are a lot, there are a lot of blocks. And, and then we first uh, learn the definition of block, I think it's okay. And then, and then the, the last uh, talk is what's breaking. Uh, this is my topic, and my topic is about wiki. And um, uh, there is um, two defini different definitions of uh, wiki. The first definition is uh, wiki is a composition system, and it's a discussion medium, it's a repository, it's a mail system, and it's a tool for cooperation. Uh, we don't know quite what it is, but we do know it's a fun way to communicate and uh, press the network. And the second definition is, Wiki is a website that provides collaborative modification of its content and structure directly from the web browser. In a typical Wiki, text is written using a simplified markup language and known as wiki markup, and often added with the help of a rich um, text editor. And uh, in other words, uh, it is a free online encyclopedia that allows its users to edit almost any article. Wikipedia is, bar is the largest and most popular general reference work on the internet and is ranked among the 10 most popular websites. Uh, now is how can photo sharing in, in blogs and the wiki influence on our life? And, and this is my, uh, that is my uh, final combined topic and uh, we will introduce about this. Uh, we can analyze the re relationship between photo sharing and blog. And, in our view, the information found in the internet and the relationship with photo sharing is concluded in blog, and blog is a wonderful platform to share the photo, and it is a state to someone to share what you're thinking and the information. And uh, an introduction about this, and uh, the blog, the photo, uh, in, in, in that tips, a recent start is letting the story and images meeting by the city visitor on an ongoing basis on how to be uh, regular to upload to the click website in the daylight on a, on a big monthly uh, schedule. And it is an issue for us especially and, and the thing they call the visitor uh, contribute to the and, and then let my partner to uh, tell about the influence about this. And now is the part about influence. The native is collecting and sharing measures and narratives that show like, um, and how photography influences who people are, what people do, and what people remember. Has a photo photograph been used to document property laws, inspire a hairstylist, sell a house, be the traffic ticket, or helped with a decision about where to go on vacation? Has a single photograph ever influenced what someone believes in or who someone loves? The easy step to share the stories about the power of photograph 
photography and to see images and read stories sub submitted by others. And selected entires from the general public will be featured alongside those by invited experts such as Stuart Brand, founder and editor of the legendary Whole Earth Catalog, who understood how photo photography could change the way people viewed Earth and their life on it. Dia Cranto, an adoption specialist and founder of the Heart Gallery, who explains how convincing and explaining complaining photography portraits of frozen care children help the children find new families and homes. And Lauren Shakely, publisher and carousel poser of a string of best-selling cookbooks, who describes how and why photo photography can change the kind of food people crave. Now look about the blocks, their ambivalent photo story will be the same way to influence. Uh, here are some examples. Uh, for example, some photo, some of the share their photos in the Flickr book about the diffuse high way story about how the just uh, having a terrible life and they are homeless and have have this this photo make the side know the problem in the world it is a good way to cause people live in good condition to help those people and help uh, I think the tower is it's our right. there is some page on the PowerPoint I can continue actually the time is running up for your team so make a simple conclusion of what you learned okay. yeah uh, okay in my, in my uh, conclusion and the summary about this topic is that the uh, photo sharing in the blog and the wiki can improve our life, improve our life very definitely. And uh, there is a lot of uh, aspects being improved our life, just like in work, in our study, and it is a very quick way to uh, past and transform the information, and it is uh, and why it's so quick because uh, because we can look at photo and get the information more quickly and easier than we read the work and and some article and and, and something out there and sometimes the photo can uh, pass something. Uh, pass some information and feeling the word and article cannot pass. So I, uh, in my just in my uh, host team thinking is that uh, uh, the photo share is very important. And that's all. That's my summary. Okay. Thank you very much for your team's effort to help us to understand quite a complicated topic. Yes, but you guys have done good work. Let's tax this much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. So it's your team. Only two persons, but appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. It's your PowerPoint ready. Let me make sure I got your PowerPoint. It's in your team website. Uh, team one. Four. It's your PowerPoint here. Post. Oh, you need to post your PowerPoint here. You need to create a topic here called PowerPoint. And I can set it quick. You just have 10 minutes exactly before we get to 12.45. So allow me to use this time to take attendance for today. Uh, today is day number 23. Rex, are you here? Thank you. Fiora, yes. Sequence, yes. Curry, yes. Neo, yes. K O K O yes, C O C O yes, uh, and then uh, Adrian, thank you. Vicky, Vicky is not here today. All right, uh, Eris, yes. Lavovi, yes. So Rajan is not here today. Uh, 
High day, yes, good year. And dead open, yes, scope, you're not here today. Rina, you're here. Selena, you're here. Addison, you're not here today. Rita, you're here. And then Karen, Karen, yes, you're here. Boss is not here. Andre, yes. Tiffany, yes. So let's save the first page. So, Teresa, yes. Uh, Cindy, yes. Okay. And uh, Ruchi, yes. Alice, yes. You're here. And then Will, you're here. Thank you very much. Yes, just waiting for team number four. To see if your PowerPoint is uploaded. Okay? In week number eight, nine, seven. So, Kaite, are you uploading the PowerPoint now? Yes, I did. Let's see. Let's uh, refresh. It's team number four. You have to upload it in the Team Online Discussion Forum. So, okay, so this is Team Online Discussion Forum. Do not upload it somewhere else, okay? Remember, you need to choose Team Number 4, alright? The Team Number 4. Oh, by the way, allow me to tell you the result of the questionnaire out of the 25 students who took the questionnaire, 20 said they prefer to have, not to have to be term, okay? But in class sharing is on the topic what I've learned in the semester. So I'm going to schedule, uh, mark the schedule, starting from next week, okay? Uh, up to the end of the semester, so you could choose your time slot, 10 minutes sharing on your topic, what I've learned in the semester. We thank you for the five persons to, to say they want to have a midterm, but the majority of the vote said we're not going to have a midterm, okay? So let me go back to team number four and make sure the PowerPoint is in good. Thank you. So Tai Tai, would you please come up here together with Rita? And so you can make your presentations now. Okay, thank you. You have just seven minutes left. Uh, hello, now we're going to introduce our topic, which is technical problems. But first of all, I'm going to introduce that how tapping and block related to the web 2.0. First of all, then I'm going to explain what's the web point, uh, web 2.0. Web 2.0 is the current stage of online technology as it compares to the early days of the web. And characteristic by the user interactive and collaboration. Wow. Wow. Where is this network connective connectivity and enhanced communication cha uh, channels. So, before the web point 2.0, there is also web uh, 1.0. So, the web 1.0 is the readable place of the World Wide Web that flood data in the web 1.0. There is only limit that interaction between uh, size and the web user. So as I said, and the web point, a uh, web two point zero is the liable place of the world wide web with the interactive data, unlike web one point zero. And I'm gonna jump into the web three point zero. Web three point zero is the escape uh, escape to table place of the world wide web with dynamic applications in the active service and machine to machine interaction. Um, for blog, it is an updated online personal diary or journal. It presents yourself to the earth and you can share your idea and your feeling. Um, 
and portending. It helps describe the things, and it generally chosen personally, and it can inform me um, by the item creator or by its viewer. And for block and tagging, a block can be added free for text to a post. Text is mostly a web link leading to an index page. All connections between posts are automatically tracked and updated by the block software. And the impact of block and tagging. Um, there is no denying that the cultural pheno uh, phenomenon that is blocking has a big impact on the world. Indeed, many new stories, <coughs> memes, and artistic efforts either air their head via this medium or are exposed to the wider world by it. Although Wikileaks is the organization that has hit um, headlines recently for exposure of information, blogs over the years have had at least an equal, if not greater, impact, although perhaps not quite on such a global scale. So now I'm going to talk about the block and the tagging advantage and disadvantage. Uh, the advantage, one of the is one of the really about employment benefit of taking photo on Facebook is simple identification, Facebook photo text, and then define people with their names and link to their Facebook page when available. So it is mean it's uh, easier for the user to search for the people that they're looking in the Facebook or sometimes in the Instagram or other applications. And when you post a picture it's a matter of a count countess right? count to let the people in that picture know about it. And then uh, tagging simplify the process as all the uh, poster needs to do is tag the image with the names of the people in its Facebook or Twitter send a notification to all tagging parties, informing them that they have been tagged and providing a link to the uh, photo. So it's easier for them to get the news about the who's tagging their photos. And so I'm gonna talk about the disadvantage. Using uh, tagging and blogging can also provide us uh, a lot of advantage, but sometimes using too much of, of those can give, also, can give us also a disadvantage. So first of all, uh, disadvantage is it can weak memories. Nowadays, we, all, we are so much used of this full networking stuff that we forget to accomplish our other important work. Second, laziness. People send a piece of their quality time in front of their system skin, but they will not link and year when taught to do any work that comes for somatic effort. And three is social life. Their memory about their uh, previous, uh, previous social life has become food, fugitive. And four, a set of error leads to the data loose and you can go back in, in time. If you make a mistake with your tagging, you have a, a hole in your data. And fifth, uh, firewalls can man fail and restrict tags. And uh, last is when the user can freely choose tags, the resulting metadata can include whole Homonyms, <coughs> the same text user with different meaning, and the synonyms and synonyms uh, is a multiply text for the same concept, which may lead into in appropriate connections between items and individuals uh, search for information about a subject. So, so now I'm going to talk about the conclusion. Um, there is a big link in between block and tagging. With the evolution of technology, things such as tagging can shorten the distance between people, as it can express one's feelings and actions along with the post on social media. Um, furthermore, 
um, tagging can increase one's popularity as others are able to see your post by searching the tag. However, a privacy issue will be followed up and into concern. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's it for your presentation. Just in time, you see, you're just using a little bit more than eight minutes. That's good enough. Um, indeed, the topic is very interesting, and you've done a lot of good work, except that you've given us a lot of cats. Okay, it's like a picture. Now, I'm so glad that at least, how many teams have done the presentation today? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so of the seventh team, five teams have given yourself a chance to present here on what you've learned. And um, I must tell you, there's nothing perfect in your presentations, but the most important thing is you have the courage to put together what you have done and uh, try to share with others. And that is very important, and it's an experience you will never forget. Um, yes, today and tomorrow is the day when you have to submit the Artifacts for Learning contract number three. And so, uh, starting from this first day, I will get um, you started with the last milestone of the semester, that is the learning portfolio. And in this milestone, you must learn how to use the wiki. Because you need to use the wiki to put together what you have done in the semester from week number one to week number 14. And of course, if you want to earn a good score, you need to get prepared the work you have finished there, the score you have earned, and um, do you need bonus work to make sure you pass the course or to get an A? So you have to tabulate the data in terms of the activities you completed in, the, uh, in this semester. So I will tell you more on this first day. And I thank you very much. And I will let you go now to have your lunch. All right, thank you very much for today's in-class presentations.